Okay, now I can kind of move some things around. And I have two pieces right here. I have the end piece and I have the blade. I want to put those together, okay? Fix all those things, but I just want to get this right now for now. I can right click on that to select it and start moving it around to the position where I need on the sword. So rotate around, just, you know, just like you do anything else, you're just going to move it around until you get it right into position so it starts looking like a sword. I'm just rotating around. Now if I want to select both, I can right click on the other one as well. Okay, shift click. They're both selected, now I can kind of move them both around. See that? Now, this is not a good looking sword. Why? Because there's this gap here, right? You see that gap right there? And I'm going to shift and bring that down a little bit. Let's rotate into it so you can see it. So, what do I do? I mean, there's lots of things that I could do here. I could start melding these or merging these edges together to make something smooth. But I'm going to use what's called the Yogi Bear trick. You guys familiar with the Yogi Bear trick? Yogi Bear was an animated character. And uh, the problem with the animation, they always had the head moving back and forth. But when they did it, it would show a gap between his neck and his, his, his shoulder. So what they did is they put a scarf around no Yogi Bear. That's the Yogi Bear trick. So they always get that scarf, but it was, it was an animation trick. So what we're going to do here is we're going to right click, bring out a, a cylinder, and put it in place for this handle, and it's going to hide the two, okay? So I'm going to right click. Excuse me, space. <laughs> Go ahead and bring out a uh, cylinder. Hit OK. And there's my cylinder. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. And I'm going to make it bigger in the X or Y direction, I believe. Let me try that again. S. Hit X. Let's try that. There we go. See that? S again. Oh, Control Z. S again. Let's go in the X direction. There you go. Looking good. Now I'm just going to move it over to, to my uh, arc rotator around a little bit. Going to move it into position. Now it's not quite where I want it to be, you see. So you just got to kind of move around until you start getting it to where it needs to go. And I switched from, uh, I was in, uh, my axis were off. I was in normal view, or excuse me, I was in uh, view, and I switched to global, which switches my axis. So you need to be aware there are several coordinate systems, and you basically, one is like a rigid body that lives on the, uh, it's called local coordinate system, it lives on the object, the other is the global where everything is set. So I had to switch back to global to get my axis right. It's not quite where I wanted it to be, so I'm going to hit S to kind of bring it out a little bit more. There you go. I'm going to arc rotate around a little bit. Uh, it's starting to look better. And let's hit S again, and let's hit uh, maybe Z, wrong. Let's hit Y, there we go. And there we go, hey, not looking too bad. There's my sword in 3ds Max. Excuse me, there's my sword in Blender. And so if you want to render it to see what it's going to look like, your little render button is right here. So you click on that button, and it renders your sword. So obviously that's only part of the issue. You want to group these things together. Uh, you want to get some lighting and some texture on here. Well, this is the basic building of, uh, of a sword. So that was it. Uh, and uh, uh, Another thing, I could actually group all these together by uh, actually hitting Control P. I'm going to choose a parent. And then basically I'm going to select the other ones. and hit uh, control G and I basically want to, let me box all these things together, there you go control uh, G and then I'll add to the group and when I did that everything became a group, I can move this sword around now and so that was kind of really really fast and uh, that's because basically we're just trying to give you the basic commands here and it's, it's kind of a, I know a kind of a bit of a fire flood for you guys, you know, if you've never done any modeling before but uh, that's how we build a sword. Tom, not too bad for just uh, that quick. But there are people who will spend hours and hours and hours on the perfect sword. All right, so we're done with that. We're going to do the easy part, the fun part now. We're going to build a spaceship, okay? So let's go ahead and save that if you want or get out of it, and we'll move to the next section.